I, I place, I organize my notes intelligently, chat, with forethought. And of course, I mention the Ripaverse and Isom because I'm talking about somebody um, who may or may not. I, I, um, <laughs> I woke up. I can't remember what day it was, but I woke up and I, I just had a, a text message from somebody and it said, Rikeda has lost his fucking mind. <laughs> I thought, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. So I open up a list of clips immediately because the Kiwi Farm started on Rikeda moves so quickly that if I try to find a clip about what the fuck he's, what they're talking about, I'll never be able to find it. So I just go to a list of clips and sure enough, there is a 24 minute condensed version of Rikeda complaining about me. And this puts me in an awkward situation because anytime I talk about Rikita now, I'm gratifying him. Uh, anytime I leave him on red, I'm winning. Anytime I talk about him, uh, I lose. I have, I have to spin currency um, in, in the game. However, uh, his rant is so unhinged that it is uh, funny enough to show on stream. So we'll be talking about Rikita. I have a couple clips and then I have the... Um, the 24 minute long video. And I think I'm just going to pull things at random out and sum it up for everybody. So here are a couple stray clips that are funny enough to play by themselves. And then I have the, the whole thing to like, just poke at. <laughs> they're calling back to, they're calling back to China. Like, you know, Han, Han, listen, you have no idea. Not everyone have small penis. Yeah. But I heard they were, I didn't know they were, th like, are, are black guys, like, they have giant thick penises, too? Like, I don't know. Are they blessed double? I, I, I'm i not an expert on black penis, Sean. Like, much to chagrin of the rumors. I wish I was, because it'd be funnier, but I'm not. I was going like, to say, you're just an amateur, you know. No. I'm an amateur. <laughs> Look, I don't even put salami <laughs> in the snack tray. I don't even know how to make them happy. I listened to this clip before I queued it up and I didn't I didn't hear Sean's comment. That was really slick. <laughs> that was really subtle. <laughs> I love Josh. I'm I'm a super fag. And and Josh just needs fag. Like he needs a guy to suck his dick. And I'm here to do it, Josh. I love you. Oh that okay. I don't know how to respond to that. That's pretty fucking gay. Uh it's like it's like his um he fancies himself like a stand-up comedian now and like his only joke is just to say extremely overt sexual stuff to try and make people uncomfortable it's like a it's like a gay man like literally just like a gay man who thinks it's really funny to make straight men uncomfortable by hitting on them like that's that's like his entire routine interesting man i want to like but it was so overplayed at every sports event i went yes, to. I was yeah, a that, that, that ruins it that, that, yeah, was, that does ruin it I was a cheerleader, and when you've sucked dick to Ender Sandman, like you can't, like you can't enjoy it anymore. Well, he doesn't even know what to say. How do you follow that up? I think I don't know. It sounds like he sucked a lot of dick. <laughs> I, I listened to this entire thing. It's twenty four minute clip twice, and uh, like I listened to it on the first day. And then in preparation for the stream, I re-listened to it. So I had like a, a really clear idea of what was said because it's, it's in, really difficult to follow his speech. He rambles. He forgets what he says. He repeats himself a lot. He's slurring in his words. He's uncomfortably angry. He's like yelling. He loses track of his own thought. Um, he tries to like, he asks Sean a question. Sean will say literally one word. And then Rikeda will interrupt him and demand him to, to reply and not actually allow him to speak. It's an incredibly difficult rant to follow all the way through. Um, oh, and then one, one little warm up. Um, Rikeda said, I don't think I drank on that stream, referring to the stream where he was in uh, the kids' playroom dressed as a, in anime clothes watching anime and going kawaii agu on twitch he says i don't think i drink on that stream actually i didn't have anywhere to just had a drink and it was the middle of my day Alyssa clips of course being the clip master for Rikeda, has uh discovered the stream and he is in fact chugging back a bottle of wine um buck says he just lies constantly now Rikeda law says lies or doesn't remember because it was years ago and who cares okay this is another thing that he does where he will he will lie 
and then just say, oh, I didn't remember. He will say with 100% certainty something, dare you to prove him wrong. And then if you prove him wrong, he goes, oh, I just didn't remember. And that's your fault for taking it seriously to begin with. That's like one of his, his, um, his favorite cards to pull. I have experienced that firsthand, and he does it a lot. So here we have, I was wrong, it's 25 minutes, close to 26. He's on the, the, the stream with Sean, potentially criminal, and uh, someone super chats. I'll play the first minute because that sets up the stage. Someone super chats him something. Sean makes like a really like tame joke that should obviously be a joke that should be water under the bridge at this point in time. However, it seems to open up like old wounds for him and he just becomes completely and totally unhinged as a response. Inshallah says, pull up, Baldo man. A juicy boy just has the tism. I know he has the tism. That's why I keep telling him. I'm like, Josh, stop being a fucking loser. Like, stop doing... You're so weird. Like, there's no reason for us to be fighting, you gay boy. And he's like, oh, he's no, fighting. he's... What? He's not fighting. Come on, Sean. He's got a personal opinion, and that's that's where he is. Like, that's His not personal opinion is objectively retarded and wrong. He's like... Uh, okay. I he's mean, just he's saying flat out false things. Like, and when I would tell him, he's just like, No, I'm a good judge of people. And I'm like, but you're literally like you're objectively I, incorrect. I, the only thing I can counsel you on is probably you need one of those tankless water heaters because your shower no. conversations haven't gone on long enough. <laughs> I wasn't home when I did that, Sean. Well, I know, but you need a tankless water heater that well if you're at if you're at like the hotel, it should have been free hot water. You should have just kept going. I was only in the shower like 15 minutes out of that two-hour conversation. Well, but I'm just saying. If the only it, reason well, I got in the shower is because he was so fucking retarded that he wouldn't listen to very basic things. He's like, but tell me what you want me to do. I'm like, I don't want you to do anything. I... Oh, wait. Am I supposed to sit here and simp for Josh while you're on my show? Because, like, what, what am I supposed to do here, Sean? Tell me. Why don't you tell sorry, me right I now? I didn't mean to make that one. Uh, I'll play. Actually, I'll play this because uh, this is funny. This is an example. He does this constantly. Now you got a thing. Tell me. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. I I don't. But I don't. What? Oh, so wait. So I have a two-hour conversation with Josh. It goes on so long. I tell him a yeah. joke. Hey, Josh. This has gone on so long. While I'm trying to tell you that you're doing this thing, and I just think that maybe. Like, I don't want you to do anything at all. And he's like, what do you want me to do? I'm like, literally nothing. He's like, do you want me to delete something? No. You want me to censor okay. something? So this is, I'll interrupt this and I'll, re I'll explain. Um, his gambit with me talking about our conversations is that anytime he messages me, he will literally just message me out of the blue when I knew him and say, the people in the thread are saying things that are wrong. And this is at the same time that he is claiming that he has not looked at the kiwi farms in over like two years now he will say the people on the forum are wrong and he will explain his side of the story and i'll be like okay uh this happened a, a couple times i was just like okay whatever i don't know what you want me to do about it and that's my response i'll just say i don't know what you want me to do like but i'm not going to correct the record for you i i um the one time that I did actively, proactively seek his opinion on something was with the Montagraph stuff. I asked him, because I didn't know the story, I said, what did you say that provoked Montagraph to sue you? And he said, I said something that was not, that is categorically um, impossible to be defamation under law, which is Montagraph probably always likes sucking little baby dicks. And he said the opposite. He said, Montagraph always likes sucking little baby dicks. So he lied to me the one time that I actually asked his opinion. Um, and this was not a, a small, you know, misremembering. That was a serious, that's like the, the linchpin of his legal defense and his legal, what he's spending tens of thousands of dollars dealing with is this statement. And he misrepresented it to me for who knows what reason, either that he just lied or he is genuinely so wet brained that he doesn't remember very important things like that, um, which are which are a serious misremembering. Um so he did this a lot. I never knew what the fuck the point was. It, he would message me all the time, like every every month at least, and be like, Hey, they said this and I want you to know that's wrong. And like, I don't know what you want me to do about it. 
I guess you, you like, I don't care. I don't really follow your, I intentionally try to stay out of it. I don't, I don't give a fuck. And then eventually he got to the two hour conversation where he messages me and he tried to correct the record on something that I did care about. He messaged me and he said, I want you to know that you get stuff wrong. The forum gets stuff wrong. And I just, I just find it funny how the Kiwi forums gets everything wrong. And he used quote as an example, Drexel. He said like the Drexel thing, everybody gets wrong. And I, I clarify to him that, that I did not get wrong because I don't like Drexel. And I made sure that I got this story as close. To, I was off. Um, he fucked this. If you don't remember, Drexel is like a 50 year old man at this point. Um, big black dude. He does some kind of like men in this show or some shit or tried to become like a, like a Andrew Tate type figure. Um, and he is into swinging and shit. Uh, as like, he, he likes to be like the, the black guy that that's involved in like cuckolding groups and shit. It's really weird. He's gross as fuck. He's one of the grossest people. I have the displeasure of knowing. And he knew a, a woman and that had a, a daughter. He was like a, a not like a, it wasn't like a real relationship, but he knew her and she had a daughter that was like 13 when they first met. Uh, he took this woman and her daughter out to Disney world. Um, so he went on like childhood vacations with this, you know, little girl and her mother. And then eventually without the consent or knowledge of her mother, when she was, uh, he says 21, I've heard different ages. Um, I've heard 18 and, and 21, but she was of age, but he still hooked up with this very young girl without the knowledge of her mother behind her back. Because once the mother find out, found out he cut or she cut Drexel off from her daughter, um, and ended that relationship. So whatever age she was, her mother was still an important enough figure that she was able to con persuade her to stop being in a relationship, a sexual relationship, a BDSM hardcore bondage and masochistic, uh, sexual relationship with this man that she had met when she was 13. And I find this disgusting. If it was 18 or 21, it does not change my opinion. Drexel is still a fucking rumor. He's still disgusting. And uh, Riketa coming to me and trying to correct the record on Drexel did not play well because I was willing to stand my ground on this. And because it's like one thing for him to be, you know, like, oh, they're rumor mongering about me going to hedonism. Like, OK, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Do what you want to do. But him coming at me and saying, actually, Drexel is a good guy. I was defensive about. And when I countered him and I said, I know what you're saying is wrong and I know what I'm saying is right. He then went, um, I didn't know all that. You seem to know more about this than I do. And then when, um, I continued on this, he said, Josh, you're so retarded. I'm just using Drexel as an example of how the Kiwi farms gets everything wrong. And to this day, he maintains that I don't understand what he's doing. My issue is is that if you're going to come to me and say that the forum is getting things wrong and you use an example and your example is fucking wrong, you're a retard. You're not persuading me to feel that you are making a valid point and that the Kiwi farms gets everything wrong because the one example that you're willing to use is, is right. <laughs> they get it right. That's true. That is disgusting and indefensible. And that's the entire crux of the conversation is that he tries to convince me that my forum sucks and the people on it get shit wrong. And the only example he's willing to use is that Drexel groomed a 13 year old and entered into a BDSM hardcore masochistic sexually violent relationship with her when she was of age, which is the definition of grooming according to the fucking dictionary. And that is a fact. Um, and then if I try to, you know, counter his point by saying, no, actually they got that right. He just says, it's not about if they got that right or not. That's just an example. And he just says, if you don't understand that, then you're retarded. And it's, it's like such a weird roundabout thing. That's an, it's, it's, it's like almost impossible to try and describe what he's doing. Cause it doesn't make any sense. Um, hopefully that does make sense, but he, what's weird. What's actually, it's not weird. It's really funny in this 24 minute diatribe as he talks about Drexel and the things that I'm hung up over, such as Drexel um, grooming a 13 year old into a sexual relationship of hardcore BDSM masochistic sexual, sexually violent relationship with him without his, her mother's knowledge after entering a relationship with her um, is that he never actually says that 
he just says the Drexel stuff, like he alludes to it, but he doesn't re-explain to his audience. Yeah, my best friend um, had sex with a woman who had a 13-year-old girl and then also entered into a sexually violent relationship with her years later. Um, that was without the mother's knowledge. He doesn't actually explain that to his audience because that's fucking gross. He knows it's fucking gross. He knows that the average person finds that fucking gross. Um, so he's not wet brained enough to not know that. But he is uh, very, very slyly working around that. And it's very frustrating to listen to because he just refuses to acknowledge it. Um, let's see. There's something else. I'll just play a clip. There's a nice little timestamp by this guy. Ninja Breadman 8166 has the timestamps. Um, here we go. Let's play this part. What? Oh, so wait. So I have a two hour conversation Actually, no, with Josh. This part. It goes on so long. I tell him a yeah. joke. Hey, Josh, I've never in my fucking life asked him to change, delete, or censor a goddamn thing. Even when I said to Josh on multiple occasions, I'm like, what you said or what you reported or what you relayed was flat out factually fucking wrong about me. Flat out wrong. And he says, do you want me to like do something about it? I said, no. I just want you to know as a friend that what you said is not true. I don't care that you said it. I don't care that it's wrong. I'm not going to go online and be like, Josh said this lie about me. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tell you the thing was wrong because you are someone I know. We have a relationship and I just want you to know that that's not true. And how did that get twisted? Sean, tell me how it got fucking twisted. What did, what is the narrative about why I talked to Josh? Tell me right now. Cause you know, I know, you know, what is it? What do I want Josh to do? Well, tell you, me you want you're on here bringing it up tell me right now what do i want josh to do tell me you the there it is that you want him to go after the detractors i want him to censor stuff right i don't want him to re yes. remove, remove shit from my thread yes every time josh has asked me what do i need to do who do i go after who do i ban what do i remove i said nothing ever every time sean every fucking time that's what I said. This motherfucker goes out there and runs with this narrative that I'm trying to get him to censor shit. Never in my life. Never. And I've said over and over, I would never, ever attempt to censor the farms, no matter how wrong they are. No matter how wrong he is, I've never asked him to change a goddamn thing. Even shit he said. He said, what do you want me to take back? What do you want me to retract? What do you want me to do? And I said, nothing ever. I just want you to know, as my friend, that this isn't true. He I'll end it there because it never stops. He just rants the entire time. And it's hard to find like anything he repeats himself and it's hard to cut this off. Um, his way of when he when he speaks, it's very clear that he wants something. And that's that's like the other frustrating part is like it. I've never had I've I've had. I have a very short list of friends, right? I have a very small list of people that I keep in close contact with and Rick or Nick. Rick, Nick, Ricardo was one of those people that I just had on my very short list of, of like social contacts. I never, ever, ever had anyone, not nobody had ever just randomly sent me messages being like, Hey buddy. Hey buddy. I heard you said this thing. I saw, I saw this on the Kiwi farms and I just want you to let you know that's not true. Just between us. That's not true. So I have a very hard time understanding like what the fucking point is. Um, my opinion of Rakeda did not change until he started becoming like a severe alcoholic. Uh, what people were saying didn't really affect my, like really it just didn't, it didn't affect my opinion of him. Um, the way that he made fun of his own wife and said that her body body was ruined the way that he openly lusted after, uh, you know, Mandy, who was like a washed up e thought, uh, that the like the con constant drunkenness that all harmed my opinion of him, and that's not something that I heard from the Kiwi Farms. Those were all clips. That's his exact words. Uh, there is no element of ambiguity. There's nothing to misinterpret it. He said that his wife's body was destroyed and he lusted after Mandy unambiguously for three minutes straight saying that he would fuck the shit out of her given the opportunity the nanosecond that the wife said it was okay. Nothing to misinterpret and he's clearly drunk all the time. Nothing to misinterpret. Um, so the, correcting the record with me just, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. So it always did 
feel like he was implying that I should either stand up for him or uh, something else. There was all, and there's one other thing is that he, um, there was a conversation that I had with I hypocrite. We were just there for this week in stupid or whatever. It was like his podcast thing. And he mentions at the end that the Kiwi farms, uh, I don't even, uh, find it, find it. Fuck it. I'll fucking find it. Chat. Alyssa clips, uh, this week in stupid. Let's see what we'll find out. Okay. I don't know who those Alyssa's are, but that's not the one that I want. This week in stupid. Oh, I'll never be able to find this now, huh? I hypocrite. No. Does anyone have the, the video? Does I hypocrite still defend circumcision? I don't know. I hypocrite's a bit weird sometimes. Um... I will watch the clip if someone has the uh the video of it. The um the oh it's you can't stop pro progress, sorry. Pro you can't stop progress. What's this week in stupid? Oh that's Sargon's thing, right? No. Those aren't it either. That sucks because it was very unambiguous that he claimed that there were people on the Kiwi farms using or committing line crossing harassment against him. And he was unambiguously saying that the forum did not enforce its rules correctly, especially in his thread. And I asked him point blank, who is it that is committing line crossing harassment? I did not offer to ban anybody. I just said, I would like to know who this person is because I had a suspicion it was somebody I've already banned, but, um, I, I, I didn't know. And then in private, he just said, I don't want to name names. So, so he continually hints that I should do more, that the forum is doing things wrong. I'm not enforcing my own rules. I'm getting things wrong because of my forum, so on and so forth. Uh, but then he will never, ever, ever, ever uh follow that through to a point where i could potentially screenshot it and say this is rakeda asking for his thread to be censored that's something that he's just like terrified of but he's willing to hint at it forever yeah this is the stream let's see if i can find the moved or anything but i'm just saying like that does happen yeah this is right crossing I Sorry, I'm trying to get this going. It's hard to defend. I mean, it does it's for true. a lot of people. That's true. That's not false, and I've never been mad at you about it. Like that's wrong. He just admitted. He chose that. To, referring to Nick, he chose to stream with you right after he spurred out about how mean you are and how bad your site is. What a hypocrite! He is to say that you've burnt <laughs> bridges with everyone. Um, uh, okay, can I can I talk about that real quick? Sure. Because like people's idea of spurging is so weird. I made a very specific statement that Kiwi Farms makes itself hard to defend. I mean, it does it's for true. a lot of people. That's true. That's not false. And I've never been mad at you about it. Like, it, first of all, you don't post on Kiwi Farms. Like, you, people individually do. But that doesn't mean that the site doesn't make itself hard to defend. You're the oh. guy who has to defend it all the time, and it's <clears throat> fucking difficult. You, you made a statement that I took issue with. And what was that? you said you said that the thread was like line crossing harassment and it had broken its original motive of being watch only. And I've I have no idea what you're referring to. No, no, no. OK, so there's a rule on the farms, right? If I'm not mistaken, there's a rule of don't touch the cow, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, there there are people in various threads who intentionally touch the cow and sometimes they get removed and sometimes they don't. And I think in that there's reference been... to who, though? Like, can you uh, give an example? Well, for me, for some examples, yeah. What happened to you that would be line crossing? I, I, I mean, can't think whole, of an instance off the top of my head. 
Well, there there are users in my thread who uh, have definitely like intentionally tried to interfere with shit and to pro provoke and, and provocate stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't ask you to remove it? anybody. I don't do that. Like, I'm not gonna be like, ah, well, let me report this. I don't, I don't this know what you, I legitimately don't know what you're referring to. I can't I, think of. I an can instance. talk to you privately about it. I'm not. I don't want to call out people. Like, okay. I don't. Okay. I don't want people removed or anything. But I'm just saying, like, that does happen. I do. And again, it's not a perfect system. I'm not like blaming you for it or anything. I want like whoever that. left that first comment about me removed. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> I, I thought they were gonna attack Cozy, and they just called me a boring and said my show sucks. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of the clip because he intervenes and, and ends that conversation. I don't know. I think it's impossible for me to interpret that as any other way except that there are things on the forum which are so wrong and are there are posters on the forum who are interfering with his ability to conduct his life in the free way that he should be allowed to do, which is against the forum rules. There is no, literally no logical reasonable way to interpret that conversation besides being that and he invites me to contact him in private to discuss this issue which i'm open to if there is somebody who is uh actually like like for instance this is just an arbitrary example it's not based on anything that i know about if someone's like contacting like his micro school organization or like the coach of some soccer team that his kids are go to something like that, that's like interfering in like his family's day to day business. If that's like a user on the forum and I, he knows who it is. Like I have no issue intervening and telling that person to fuck off. And I, I, I have had success in contacting people who are doing things like that and telling them that that's not a good thing to do. It's a bad idea. It's not fair. It's a, it's potentially a criminal, you know, I've managed to persuade people, you know, using my, my words alone into complying with the rules. That's something that I can do. Um, and I don't think that's censorious at all. Uh, so it, it's not like I would feel like he's forcing my hand if that's actually happening. When I message him, he says he doesn't want to name any names. So as far as I know, Riketa has simultaneously held two positions that are in contradiction with each other. He says that the forum gets everything wrong and that it interferes with his personal life in a way that's against the forum rules. And then on the other hand, he will not say what things the forum gets wrong and he will not tell me who is crossing the line. But he is more than happy to bring this up and complain about it on his show uh, on other people's shows, in conversations with third parties, and to me directly in DM. And I don't know how else I could possibly interpret that, except that he thinks that I should do something about it. And I, 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 I mean, he, whenever I say that, he then immediately, here's his trick. Here's the, the system's neatest trick, as it were. He spins that around on me. That's what you just heard. He'll say, Josh was begging me. He was down on his knees saying, please, master, please give me some names. Please give me some posts to delete. I need to censor a cater. I just don't feel powerful unless I'm cracking my whip. And it's like, that's not, <laughs> that's like a fucking psychotic way of trying to spin that on me. Cause obviously that's bullshit. Uh, it's just insane. Uh, it, it's it's like it, it is it is so insane that it like makes my head spin and I'm forced I am forced to assume that's the point like just to be his plan is to be as obtuse as possible and uh, Try to be as like confusing and bizarre and gay all the time So that I have no choice but to try and find some way to make him happy So he stops being gay and that's why he gets really really pissed when I just ignore him um Yeah, he also said that he was just joking about taking a shower uh, or that it was just like for a brief time in the conversation that was just a silly joke and that I took it the wrong way when he randomly told me that he was naked in the shower sending me text messages like as as guys do I just took it the wrong way uh, and then this because if someone calls out one of his friends he is compelled which I told him, by the way, that he's easily manipulable because of this. He, well, if, if someone's friends with me, I have to 
this is his words. I have to report the negative thing about them. I have to, and I'm like, but Josh, if it's, if it's not true, like, and again, I'm not telling you to retract anything, but like, it's not true. I'll just tell you that it's not true because you're my friend. I want you to know. And he's like, but I have to say it. I'm like, yeah, say it. But, I, you say it all the time. I, I'm not telling you not to. I never and, have. And, and I get that. I, I was just trying to make a joke, but since we're here, I guess I'll just say, if you don't want him to retract, but you're telling him it's wrong. I didn't even tell him anything about me was wrong, Sean. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, if you want them, like you're saying, like. He did, by the way. He, oh, he, he never gives suspe suspe specifics when talking about himself, but he was very upset about the Drexel thing. And that's what it means. Like, he, he talks about the Drexel thing without re-explaining what happened with it. This isn't right. And you're like, well, and if you're saying Noel said, hey, I want, well, what should I do about it? Don't worry about it. That, you know. I wasn't worried about it. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. No. Who who brought it up? Who brought it up? Who brought up that conversation? Sean? I did. I, I was trying to no, make no, it no, go. Not, no, not oh, between oh, you and me. Well, me and no. Me, me and no. The shower conversation. Who brought it up? I, did I, I bring it up? Did I say, hey, guys, I was in Corpus Christi, bored while my entire family's was asleep? Me. It was me. I... I am the one who brought up the shower conversation. In fact, you could tell in that clip of me talking about this that I was apprehensive to start talking about the shower thing because I knew it was very funny and people would make memes out of it, which they did. Um, so I, I was, but at that point, I'm just like, yeah, he's just like a fucking insane drunk at, at this point. He's like a belligerent liability to me and everyone around him. I guess I'll just talk about the shower thing. Fuck it. Um, and it's never, it's never been a regretted decision because he's clearly an insane alcoholic and has never like stopped, never stopped. Um, as far as like, yeah, I mean, it's a thing. It's like, if you know me and, um, and there's a drama, I'm, I'm pretty compelled to talk about it. Cause if I don't, it's very conspicuous, uh, which is unfortunate. However, I will say this, if there's drama and I know it's bullshit, astroturf, gay nonsense, I will ignore it. I've done that before. Um, I don't want to name specific instances, but if I look at something and it just looks like fake bullshit, I will completely fucking ignore it. And people will try and convince me and, and they'll send me emails and they'll send me tweets and they'll post on the forum and complain on the forum. But if it's bullshit and I know it's bullshit because it's just obviously like a gay, gay op, I will ignore it and I'll just deal with the nonsense. But... Um, I mean the fucking the hedonism thing was like there are pictures of him in the hotel room that can be found on the hedonism 2 website and he was there during that week and I think that the only point of contention is that the cuckolding stuff was like next week and it, like it was just like the week he was there it was just like walk around naked exhibitionism stuff like that was that was that uh, which by the way that he did tell me that I'm pretty sure um so that is something that he said that that was correcting the record that was about him. So that's also a fucking lie. I don't remember that. Uh, and then he randomly says this. I was just trying to make a joke, but since we're here, I guess oh, I'll just. You just said if you tell Josh that uh, he says, what do you want me to change? You say nothing. Don't worry about it. Who didn't worry about it? Who didn't worry about it, Sean? If, if who you didn't worry about it answer the fucking question i don't know nick because i don't know all your conversations wait wait wait, wait 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 you don't know who didn't worry about it who'd you hear about it from <clears throat> who talked about the shower texting who talked to the, which by the way was just a joke is literally a tension breaking joke because i'm like why is josh mad i said to him a tension breaking joke it was funny mm -hmm. to me who, who told you about that conversation? Was it me? Did I say, hey, I was texting Null for two hours last night? Or did no. Null say, Nick texted me from the shower because he's so fucking crazy and he's so unhinged and he, he wants me to censor his thread. Who said that? Was it me or Josh? It was Josh. Oh, was it Josh? So when you said just now, when you say, well, don't worry about it, who didn't worry about it? Me. Who is blindsided when someone went to the fucking internet to go complain about it? Me. I was fucking blindsided. Sure. Because I've talked to Josh a hundred times in text. Yes. And every time I just tell him, I'm like, yes, hey. he has. It. Oh my God. He admits it. Yeah. He does this constantly. He sends me fucking random messages and usually it's like, cool. It's like, whatever. Okay. Whatever. It was, it was the shower. It was the Drexel thing. The Drexel thing was like the, the bridge break where it's just like, 
this is fucking gross. <laughs> this is fucking gross. This is fucking stupid. I'm not going to be belittled and berated and talked down to because your fucking black pedophile grooming friend. Uh, I can't say pedophile because he didn't fuck her when she was 13. But he had eyes on that on that from when she was 13. And that's fucking skeevy. And it's it's like gross to normal people. Almost every normal. Fu actually, no, every normal fucking person will say that's fucking gross. Unless you're like so porn sick that like, the, the mom and daughter fantasy like overrides any sort of human decency. But that was that was what did it. That was what did it. And he still lies about that. And he still says, well, she was 21 when they had sex. Yeah, but that's not what I fucking said. I said, and it's true that he knew her mother and he knew her when she was like 13 years old and he waited eight years to have a masochistic bdsm sexual violent sexually violent relationship with somebody that he knew and took to fucking disneyland as a little kid um and that's why i don't like him and ricada can't get over that and is upset that i keep talking about it because i guess it makes him look bad and, and but yeah it was it was that conversation where i'm just like this isn't worth maintaining. I don't have to put up with this. <laughs> this is bullshit. Um, yeah, I hope it was worth it, motherfucker. You're my friend. I just want you to know, this thing isn't true. By the way, my wife and I are monogamous and have been for our entire marriage. We're literally, we were virgins when we met and we are our only people we've ever had sex with. I know that there's these like weird rumors about us. I just want you to know as my friend, because there's this weird shit going on, talking about how my wife's a whore that you're like reporting on, and then I'm some cuck who likes to watch her get fucked by men, that actually we're monogamous and we've only ever had sex with each other. I just want you to know. I don't want you to change anything. I don't care, but you're my friend. I want you to know since mm -hmm. you talked about it. But you're, you're my friend on this. I talked I about the hedonism thing. And um, that's what he's re re reacting to. And as I mentioned before, his claim is that it was a you know month long event. He was there for one week that was themed differently. The next week was interracial cuckolding, uh, but that week was just exhibitionism or something. And um, yeah, he brings that up out of nowhere, uh, which which just sounds weird. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I don't I will say this I think you can look back in all the clips that I've ever talked about Ricardo uh, from the very beginning to now I I am 90% certain could be wrong but I'm 90% certain I have never said uh, maybe maybe as a joke that I've said that she gets fucked by black men but I don't think I've ever made the actual claim that he went to hedonism and sh she got fucked by a black guy or that she fucked Drexel. Um, I don't think I've ever made that claim. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't remember. And I remember uh, there are people in the thread saying that they don't, they don't remember me ever saying that. So that's why that seems so out of place. Uh, I tend to be, I tend to be pretty soft on the people around. So I, I usually just talk about Ricade, especially his alcoholism. And I implied it. <laughs> Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't remember. Is there anything else here? Uh, this is funny. I'll play this and then I'll wrap it up. They don't. Kiwi Farms has power in so much as they can, they can convince someone to destroy themselves. But Kiwi Farms can't do anything to anyone. And the reason they can't is because if Kiwi Farms tried to go after someone, which they don't do, I want to be very clear, they don't go after someone. But if someone's, like, if someone's boss was like, oh, I, I, I saw this thing on the Kiwi Farms, all you have to do is put up, pull up their thread and you'll find some guy named ButtSexMaster2000 and he will have a he will have a post that just says nigger nigger nigger, nigger. That, like that's what it'll have. You just show that to your boss. You go. I made it through. The, I managed to avoid calling Drexel the N word and this motherfucker by virtue of playing this clip. Alyssa clips usually clips that out, but she missed this one, and now it's on my stream. The 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 poison has spread, chat. Is this person sane and right? Like, is this the place that you're getting your information? And they'll go, oh no, the real world doesn't care about this. That's fine. But what the real world <laughs> doesn't care about doesn't matter. If the person yeah. goes, I will read. I, I, I apologize for I should uh, change Sean's account uh, to butt sex master 9000. Just rename it. Jumping back into it. It's dark light. No, but I'm, I'm just saying the, the Kiwi Farms people can convince people to fuck themselves over. But the people always fuck themselves over. Like that's what happens.
Like people destroy themselves. Kiwi Farms doesn't. Oh yes, that's, no, it's it's all self inflicted. Right. That's a credit to Kiwi Farms. That's not a criticism of them. Mm. Uh, Eric Allen says there's a a line. I don't know if I missed it, but he says um, that the real power of the, the Kiwi Farms. I, maybe I, I think he just said it, and I, I missed it because I was reading chat. But he says the the chat the Kiwi Farms the damage done is always self inflicted, and and he just goes yeah. And that that basically sums it up. I don't know. It, it's it's twenty five minutes. It's 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 really crazy. He's just angry and he's just venting, and it really feels like he's just venting because Sean's there to listen and provide a shoulder. And uh, he, I guess he brought it up. He mentioned the shower text, which is now like a colloquialism in my world for um, a heartfelt conversation. Is a, is a shower text. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.